Jared Demakos was a captain for the Chicago State men's basketball team. Well, he was on his way of having a, a great senior year. But the fall of Jared's senior season, he noticed a weakness in his knee. Chicago State head coach Tracy Dildy noticed Jared wasn't his normal self and urged him to make an appointment with the doctor. An appointment that would change Jared's life. He literally put the x-rays up and was like, you have osteosarcoma. When I heard that, that's when I like, that's when I just lost it. Osteosarcoma is a form of bone cancer. He immediately began chemotherapy treatments. Despite the news, Jared approached recovery with a determined and positive mindset, one that wouldn't go unnoticed. He's always got a smile. He's never in a bad mood. But, you know, it's just Jared. And only a guy like Jerry could have been able to carry this type of burden. The most humbling thing through this whole experience was seeing little kids go through it. Obviously, I lost my basketball career to this, but I mean, these kids are losing their childhood. So for me, it was always, if these kids can do it, I know for a fact I can. Jared underwent nine months of intense treatment until the day he received a very special message. My doctor, who I'm very close with, he and I text a lot, and he texted me, literally just texted me, like, all scans came back great. Once I got that news, that was by far the, that's all I needed. The day when we got the news that he was cancer free, we had the celebration, the surprise celebration for him. His mom and all the doctors and half of the people just from the basketball world in the Chicago area was there and his sister came in town. So it was just a great celebration. Uh, brought a lot of people together and that's his spirit and that's his personality. He brings people together. Despite the relief that came with the good news, Jared was forced to face a new reality, a life off the court. He said, well, there's probably not any chance you're going to be playing at a really competitive level ever again. That, that was by far the hardest news I could hear, even with the cancer and all that, just because like, it was an identity that I had and it was something that I'd planned on doing for a long time. Jared worked to regain his physical strength while trying to accept the loss of his basketball career. But Coach Dildy still saw a future for Jared in basketball, this time as a coach. He was a really good talent and a really good basketball player. But you would be amazed he's even a better coach. Jared joined the Chicago State staff as a volunteer assistant coach, realizing his new passion for the game. Just to see him, I'm talking about, he's amazing. He's like had missed the beat as far as jumping right into the coaching field of it and sharing the knowledge that he has from the player's standpoint. Being able to help other people reach their goals is something that it's an ultimate high for me. Jared feels this is also a way to give back to Coach Dildy and the Chicago State community. A thank you for providing constant strength and encouragement. Even through all the times that my school was going through itself, for them to still show that much support to be checking up on me during these really trying times just really showed how much they cared. And for Coach Dildy, the appreciation is mutual. Through the tough times our university has went through, we just looked at Jared, and I don't know if he realized that, the impact that he has. I'm just fortunate and blessed that I got Jared in my life. I wish everybody could have them with Jared. For the WAC Digital Network, I'm Jesse Punch.